Hey guys, welcome to my channel Among Stouts. My name is Samantha and in today's video I'm going to share with you all about the Gather Around Homeschool Human Body Unit. So we are actually not in this unit currently, but I have already gotten everything prepped and planned out for us to start the Human Body Unit from Gather Around Homeschool in January. So this is going to be the first unit that we will start after our um, Christmas break. So. If you guys enjoy these videos where I'm sharing with you all about the Gather on Homeschool units that we are doing and the books that we are pairing with them, please go ahead and like this video. Also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to please subscribe and have you here as a part of my community. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So first, I will talk about um, this book. So we are in classical conversations and so the um, first half of that we did all things human body and there was a lot of memory work and then they colored um, organs and body parts and we um, did like the a whole body um, like a life size of their body and put those parts on their body so what we used to do that with was the my body so we aren't actually going to do this again but I just wanted to mention it to you guys because if you want to do a really fun engaging and hands-on human body project with your kids where they are um, learning about these parts and then coloring them and then putting them onto a trace out of their own body this is really fun to do. So I think this is a really fun project to pair with this unit. But since we've already done it, we aren't going to do it again. Um, but I am going to post up the ones that my kids did do in, t in our homeschool room. And so next, another resource that we have is the Human Body, a pop-up guide to anatomy. And this is going to, we um, purchased this book from Costco a few months ago. And this is one of the resource books that we are going to um, look through and flip through as we go through all of the different parts of the body along with the unit. And this is a really good book. It's kind of hard to find now. Like I said, we got it at Costco when it was out. Um, if I can find one of these anywhere online, I will be sure to link that down in the description box for you guys. The next book that we have is the Usborn Human Body Reference Book, and that's this one here. And I purchased this from a friend's party um, a few months ago as well because I knew that in the second half of the year that we were going to be doing this unit. So that's just what that page looks like. And these are all really good books. And because this is Usborn, I think that you can purchase these... Um, on Amazon. I think I've seen them on Amazon, but if you already know a rep or you have a friend that sells Usborne, go ahead and purchase through them. And then the next one that we have is Inside Your Outside, all about the human body. And this is one of those Cat in the Hat books. It's the Cat in the Hat's Learning Library. And that's it there. I'll just show you a few pages in here as well. And we've done um, a few other of these these books, and they're so they're really fun. My kids enjoy them. So that's that book. And then for my youngest daughter, the two books that I oh I have one more um, resource book, and that is the DK Find Out Human Body: What You Want to Find Out, Fun Facts, Amazing Pictures, and Quizzes. And this I got in a set um, of DK Find Out books, again, from Costco. You may or may not be able to purchase it as a standalone, um, It just like with the other resource book. If I can find it anywhere online, I will be sure to link it down in the description. And now to the two books that I got from my youngest. And that is, um, the first one is The Bernstein Bears, God Made You Special. And her and I will read that together. And then, Why I Sneeze, Shiver, Hiccup, and Yawn. And me and her will read this one together as well. And then the books that I got for my older two are um, Who Was Clara Barton? And then DK Life Stories, Helen Keller. And then we got What Are the Paralympic Games? And DK Life Stories, Florence Nightingale. 
And those are all of the resource books and the readers that I have for this unit. I plan on um, doing more of our family read-alouds from what I purchased. Um, I can link that video down below in the description of like the the books that I purchased um, for our specifically for our family read-alouds. The last few months, I've kind of just been going along and reading. Um, books that pair with either our history for the week in um, CC or I've been reading books that pertain to whatever unit we've been doing so I'm really behind on that book list that I have so I'm going to work on just assigning our unit our unit specific books to my kids as readers and then doing our read aloud list books as read alouds <laughs> so that we can actually get through that list because I bought those books for that reason Okay, and so as far as the human body unit goes, this is the teacher's guide, and this is from year one, so you probably have already seen a lot of videos about the human body from Gather on Homeschool here on YouTube, but I just wanted to share with you guys um, the books that we are pairing with it, and then I just wanted to do a flip through um, here on my channel. So the levels that I have are, my youngest is doing the pre-reader level, and then my other daughter is early elementary. And then my oldest is the upper elementary. And I'm only going to do a flip through of the teacher's guide. So if for some reason any of you guys would like to see a flip through of any of the student books that I have, please just let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to film that and get that up for you guys as well. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around and get to the flip through. All right guys, here is the Gather on Homeschool Human Body Teacher's Guide. Okay guys, there you have it. That is the flip through of the Gather on Homeschool Human Body Teacher's Guide. I hope that that gave you guys an idea of what you could expect out of this unit. Um, like I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in a flip through of any of the student books, just let me know. I would be more than happy to um, film and get that up for you guys. And like I had already mentioned earlier, even though we've already done some memory work and um, a project over the human body with CC. I think that all of the things that my kids learn in the first half of the year that pertains to the human body is only going to um, be useful 
to them going into this unit. So I don't think that it's overkill because of all of the things that all of the information that they're going to be able to take from what they've already learned and add it into here. I think it's only going to benefit them. Um, I have been looking forward to this unit for so long, so I'm so excited that we are finally going to be starting it in January. Um, if you have been doing Gather on Homeschool for a while, please let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite units. There are some new ones coming out for year two that I am getting really antsy about um, using and implementing those into our homeschool. I know the, the artists and the ancient civilizations are right up there on something that I am considering adding in for this year um, if, if we can find the time or the space to fit those in. Um, we like to, because we do other curriculum, Gather Round is a, not necessarily a supplement, but it's something that we do in, in addition to our core curriculum. So how we use Gather Round in our homeschool is by stretching out the lessons. Um, these are meant to be used um, one lesson per day for four or five days a week and for you to complete it within a month. However, it took us about seven weeks to complete North America and I would anticipate that it would probably take us another six, to, between six and eight weeks to complete this one as well. Um, it just kind of depends on how things are going for us with our schedule and our moods and our attitudes. So. With all of that said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful to you in getting a look at what to expect out of this unit and some of the books that we are pairing with it. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Um, also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you here as a part of my community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.